Hey everyone, today we are going to be checking out how to create a worksheet style of assignment using the test feature in Aurelia. So let's jump over there and get started. Okay, so first things first, we are going to start in the test panel in the software. And then I'm going to click on this plus here. And we are going to click no because we don't want it automatically assigned to all classes straight away. And we are going to give it a name. You'll notice it auto populates under the demo class group because that's where I was clicked before. The groups are a really handy way to organize all of your different classes and tests, etc. So can't recommend using them enough. So let's give it a name. And we'll give it a description. And that's it. So I'm going to leave the desktop and browser selection under platform checked because that will enable my students to do all of their assignments on the website, which is an amazing feature for anyone who does not have access to a uh, regular computer. So if they have a tablet, if they have a Chromebook, if they only have a phone, they can access the assignments and it equalizes the playing field for all of our students coming from all different backgrounds. So love it. Okay, now we're going to skip over entries for a minute and I'm going to go over all the settings. So time slots, let's set it available for say how about a week. Um, I won't make it due on Christmas. <laughs> we're paying attention to the dates here. Okay, and you can set, so you can leave the dates as is. You can click on the little triangle. How about we have it start tomorrow and we'll make it available at 12 a.m. and then it'll be due, how about on the 28th? And I'll have it due at the end of the day. Okay, good. Time slot is set. Let's give them a time limit of, how about an hour? So once they start it, they'll have an hour to complete the whole thing. There we go. You can just, I'm just using tab to skip around here. And I'm gonna give them a highlight timer warning when they get to five minutes. There we go. So that's it. Now, a couple of other features. You can give them any number of attempts you want. I'll give them three. You can give them up to 99. So you use that if you just want them to have basically unlimited attempts. And I'm going to keep allow test to be resumed later and prevent incomplete attempts students must resume checked because if a student gets booted out of the internet or some crazy thing happens in their life, they can get back in and the system will force them to start right where they left off instead of giving them the option of starting over again. And sometimes the students don't read the directions very well. So <laughs> it's a great idea to just have them start at where they left off. Trust me. Um, okay. And then the navigator stuff, we're going to skip that. Okay. So then under results, you want to, for a low stakes assignment, I like to check all of these because it gives the students all of the things while they're doing the assignment. They can check their work, they can see how they're doing as they're going, and then they can review the results after they're finished. For a higher stakes like placement tests or exam, I would uncheck a lot of this stuff, okay? Up to you, play around with it, see what you like. Okay, let's give them some stuff to do. How about entries? And it's loading, it's loading. Okay, so how you add a new entry. Again, click the plus button. And then let's start by giving them a little welcome message. Um, if you are a returning user to the software, you will notice that we now have um, an editing space where we can make things pretty. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, how about make it a heading number two, so it'll be a little bigger. You can turn off the italics if you don't want that. You can make it a pretty color. I prefer this nice blue here. And then you can indent if you want, you can outdent, all that good stuff. Okay. And then we're going to give them a link. So I'm going to give them a little video that they want to watch first. So watch me first. And how about we make this a regular text? We'll make it bold. And we'll make it purple. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the text. I'm going to go over to YouTube. I'm going to grab this link. Obviously, they don't need to watch the entire Bocchello Suites. <laughs> I'm going to click the link. 
paste it in, hit OK, and then we're going to finally give this little section a title. Titles are really good for students because um, on the Navigator panel, if they have access to it, it will give them a place to orient themselves. Okay, so let's preview this and see how it looks. Great. And now they have a little clickable link that they can click on. So there we go. So we've got the nice recording that they can listen to. You could go to IMSLP for scores. You could go to Spotify. Um, you could go to SoundCloud. So you could have a SoundCloud plus play playlist set up for them. Whatever you want, whatever way you want to give them the recordings. It's a nice way to give them some extra stuff to do. Back to Aurelia. So we'll hit X and that's set. And then let's give them some actual work. So we'll hit the plus to add a new section and I'm going to give them a level drill. All right, so the level drills are really great for unending practice. So they draw from the computer generated um, drills that you find on the practice page as well as any syllabus that you've built or uh, really any syllabus that is included with the software. So you click on here to select a syllabus. I'm going to stick with complete syllabus. I'm going to do interval recognition. Let's try level four for some perfect interval practice. Um, I'm going to give them, how about five questions? Um, let's do three marks per question. And then I'm going to give them five plays over here under playback. Okay, good. And if you want to set a time limit, here's where you do it. So let's, we've got that and let's, if you want to preview it, you can hit the preview button over here in the upper right. And then let's add one more entry for a library drill. Library drills are really great. They draw from the library. Um, we have a whole wealth of drills that you can pull from in there. And then you can also create your own dictations, questions, analysis, anything that you want, you can create over the library and pop it into your assignments here. So let's go ahead and find a couple. So you're gonna hit select questions to get to the library. And then in the search bar, I'm gonna type in melodic dictation. That gives me a lot. So I have a lot of melodic dictation options. So let's narrow it down. Let's try using the new diversity feature. Okay, still quite a lot. I'm gonna go for a female example to start. Oops. So uh, Maria Teresa von Paradis. Uh, how about this one here? It's 20 seconds long, 6-8, E-flat major, and I'm going to hit the play button to give it a preview. Okay, good. So I just played a little excerpt of that, but that's a great little excerpt to use for a simple melodic dictation, especially since they already have the rhythm. Okay, how about we get one from Nathaniel Dett, who is a, uh, if you don't know that, Nathaniel Dett, he's a really great uh, Canadian American, African American composer. So I hit the triangle and I'll notice that I also forgot to add Maria. So we're gonna go back and get that question from Maria. I do this all the time. So select it, hit the triangle, and now we have these two different examples. You can change the order, but honestly, it's gonna be randomized, so it doesn't really matter in this instance. But if you do wanna rearrange the order, you click these triangles here to move the questions around. Okay, and then if you add this one by dat and you wanna hit the preview button, there's a preview button here for unselected questions and one here for selected questions. So a nice, fun, completely different example. So we're going to close out of that. We're all set with our questions. We hit this red X over here. And now we have a question bank. So the students will get one question that will pull randomly between these two options. And I'm going to set a few more settings. I'm going to change the title. I'm going to give them 30 marks per question, which will give them more partial credit since there's a lot of notes, a lot of rhythms, it will give them some partial credit options in there. I'm gonna give them five plays and I'm gonna uncheck start immediately, which is a really nice feature for more complicated questions so that they can take a look at what to expect and then copy it down and then they click play to start. Close it out. And the last thing we need to do is assign it to our class. So we just click the box next to your training. 
And then, so the students will go off and do it. They'll come back. You'll want to look at their grades. How do you do that? You click on reports up here. And we're going to look at one from a previous assignment. So under report, I'm going to go down to test results. So we click on entry scores and then I go here. I'm in demo class week two is the specific test. And then I'm going to click ear training one for the class. You can also look at individual students. Okay, so finally I'm going to click best so that I can get my students best work overall um, for any number of reasons. And then you can select the date range if you want. Click view report. And there you have your report. You can download it as a PDF, you can print it, you can download it as a CSV file. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a comment or question below if you have any unanswered questions or maybe a helpful tip that I left out. We would love to hear from you either way. And please do subscribe to get more helpful videos in your YouTube feed for the future. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.